Good morning everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and craft table. Welcome if you are new. I am so glad to have you here today. Today's project is super exciting. I am finally going to make a 4th of July themed t-shirt for myself this week um, instead of crafting for others and I wanted to take you along on that journey as well and I already have everything cut out to save us some time today but what I really want to show you the purpose of this video is to show you how to layer glitter iron on now um, it is just ever so slightly a little bit different to layer glitter iron on than it is to layer regular everyday iron on material such as this blue one so for this project I have a small strip of everyday iron on and I purchased this from uh, Expressions Vinyl. It's just a blue, um, really beautiful color. And then I purchased these two glitter iron-ons from Hobby Lobby. Now in my last video, well one of my last videos, I made a little firecracker t-shirt for our granddaughter using the silver glitter iron-on and it came out amazing. I was so impressed with this glitter iron on and just how the shirt came out and it just really worked super well um, I always get a little nervous trying a new product especially if I'm going to be sending that to a friend or family member but it was fantastic so um, I thought I would use a red and silver gl glitter iron on along with my little tiny blue strip here to put a design on a t-shirt for me and so I'm going to show you how to layer these because they do require a little bit extra care when layering glitter iron on. Let's go ahead and just dive right into the project. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and just weave out these pieces here. Now this, um, this particular piece is the everyday iron on and it is in blue and it just has a couple of lines it says um, to be Anne so it doesn't have very much going on it just has a couple of middles so I'll get those weeded out here super fast okay so it will look like this then the red glitter layer, and this is absolutely a gorgeous glitter. Okay, so just gonna weed this out here. I think this is absolutely such a gorgeous red. Okay. Our press is hot. Okay, so this is all weeded out. And, oh, I just love this. It is so gorgeous and sparkly. So if you're new to glitter iron-on, um, you don't have to worry about all of this glitter that's all on the carrier sheet. There isn't any adhesive there, so we're really just focusing on this part all of the rest will just stay on the carrier sheet so we have those two and then we have this one and these are going to be our silver stars another thing I like about this particular vinyl is that it's um it's not like a, a just a plain shimmer it is glittery you can feel the glitter texture but it is not super rough or um, you know it's not really chunky or rough so to speak so it's just a very nice glitter okay. perfect I think I got all of that and I do like to check this here I think I got all those stars and I did as you noticed I did sacrifice quite a big area of 
the glitter iron on there and it is so it'll help me with the layering okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is set these aside and we're going to go ahead and prep the shirt. I'm going to bring that in and I do have a piece of butcher paper here. Move all of this out of the way. Okay, so I'm just using a um, cotton t-shirt. This is actually 100% cotton. I picked this up at Michael's and it is the ladies v-neck so i'm going to match up the neck and shoulder seams i like to i like to put a crease down the front of the shirt and it just helps with lining everything up nice and straight you can use um, t-shirt guides i do have a set they are paper and I, I got them off of Jennifer Maker's website. So, and I've used them quite a bit in the past, especially when I first started making t-shirts. Now I have done so many that I've, I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing. Okay, so I'm just pressing the shirt to Kind of take care of a few wrinkles, but mostly that crease down the middle and getting rid of any moisture. Okay. And then I'm going to lay that out here. Just going to move that to the press over. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my lint roller and I'm going to roll it over the front of my shirt. I don't want to get any lint sticking out of my design. So this is the overall design. So what I thought that I would do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the silver layer and I'm also going to, at the same time, I'm going to press that blue strip in there as well. I'm going to move my t-shirt for just a moment. And then I, I like to use the lines of my grid mat to just help me with lining everything up. So this is going to go in this particular spot right here. So I'm going to grab some um, heat resistant tape and I'm just going to use a super tiny little piece to hold down this part here and this part here. I'm going to place a piece of heat resistant tape just down on the very end of this part of my carrier sheet and making sure that I don't get it on the blue but this will allow me to stick that to my carrier sheet now normally I would lay down on the shirt and press the everyday iron-on vinyl and then I would do the glitter last but this really is the tiniest piece of um, this is just the super tiniest piece of uh, regular iron-on. So I just want to go ahead and put that all at one time. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have trouble with placement. Okay, that sheet is not going to go anywhere. And I'm just going to reference my design really fast. Okay, so right here and right here we're going to line up okay so then I'm going to pull this up and I'm just going to wrap that heat resistant tape around that edge and around that edge and now that particular piece of vinyl is not going to move and I don't need any other tape on that carrier sheet 
we're going to bring our shirt back in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm bringing this, this star right here, I'm going to line up with that crease, and I'm just going to bring it down to where I think that I want it to be. Okay, just like this. And this star, this star, and this star are all lined up. And, and then this is straight. Okay, so according to the Cricut Heat Guide, we, were to, we would have pressed this for 330 degrees for 30 seconds. But according to the directions on this box, it is 320 for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and do 320 for 15 seconds with medium pressure. And then the liner comes off when, when it's warm but not you know hot. Then I'm going to bring this piece back in and press it again for another 15 seconds. That would be a total of 30 but I will have to uh, lay this sheet back over to protect the exposed vinyl. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to let this count down for 15 seconds. Okay. Now the other day, I actually didn't notice those directions on the box, and I just followed the Cricut Heat Guide and it was totally fine 30 seconds at 330 it worked beautifully all right okay so i may have to i may have to let the blue a little bit more. Oop, we have one star that doesn't want to stay in place. Here it is. And the only reason why I'm following the directions on the box is because I'm going to be pressing this silver layer twice. If I was just pressing this silver layer one time, I would absolutely just, I would go ahead and do it the way I did the other day. Okay, so we have one layer of glitter. And now we're going to place the rest of the words. And the O goes directly under that one star, and then it's about halfway between this star and this star. And then it just nestles in here amongst, amongst these. Okay, so you'll notice that the, the blue everyday vinyl is still under its own carrier sheet. It's still in place. And these silver stars are covered and protected by this sheet here. But this one in particular, I'm just going to cover that right back up. I don't want those particular stars to melt. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I'm at 320, and I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. Okay, the other thing that I like to do with my iron-on projects is I do like to turn it over and just give it a few seconds on the back. It's what works for me, and I've had very good success with it. So I'm just turning this over. And I'm only going to do about 10 seconds. 
and then we're going to let this cool down some. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my Easy Press mat. The reason why I want to do that is because it will hold all that heat in. Turn my press off. And the glass mat here will help cool that down very, very quickly. Yeah, this is already, like, it's, you can't even really tell that it was warm. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that liner there. Then we'll remove this liner. And I can actually remove the blue liner at the same time. And I'm just monitoring as I go to make sure that everything is staying down the way it should. And I like to go at an angle, really. I do think my blue letters here might need a tiny spot. Okay, gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this, I'm just going to kind of use the edge of my press to just lay it right on top of here. And the reason why is at, at one point this had three layers of protective sheet on it. So I would be willing to bet that it didn't get quite as much heat as it probably needed. I'm just going to cover up that exposed vinyl, but now it just has one layer. And I'm just going to tilt this. And I'm just going to give that a couple of seconds. I want to make sure that those words lay down nicely. Okay, I think that's good. Pull that off. And I'm just going to turn that over for a second. And I think we're going to be good to go. Perfect. Oh, it looks so good. And it is perfect. It is simple. It is glittery. And I just, I love it. Okay, well, oh, and by the way, you can find this design in Design Space. Um, I just, that's where I got this. I didn't purchase it from a different website. I just got it out of Design Space. But there we go. Oh, that turned out so well. That is how you can layer um, two different colors of glitter iron on. And I did throw in a little piece of regular everyday iron on for the blue. All right, that is a project, another project done and successful. So I hope that you found this was informative and helpful and hopefully inspiring you to make some beautiful glitter iron-on projects for yourself. And this week we will be all celebrating with parents and family, so I hope that you enjoy that time together. And until I see you in my next video, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.